anytime you try to create an internet meme, automatic fail. That's like the worst thing you can do. John Hodgman. Here are 25 surprising sources that influence today's funniest memes. 25. You don't say. This picture of Nicolas Cage comes from a scene in Vampire's Kiss. 24. First World Problems. Believe it or not, its origin can be found in the lyrics of the Matthew Good Band's 1995 song, Omissions of the Omen, whose lyrics include, and somewhere around the world, someone would love to have my first world problems, kill the moon, and turn out the sun. 23. Third World Success Prior to the photograph's association with third world success, it was seen on Twitter in 2011 paired with the phrase, It's Friday! 22. Ridiculously Photogenic Guy The handsome and charming Zeddy Little just happened to be running a race and was spotted in the background of a group photo by Facebook users. 21. The Most Interesting Man in the World This is an ad campaign for Dos Equis Beer. They first started appearing in 2006 and featured Jonathan Goldsmith as the world's most interesting man and are narrated by Frontline's Will Lyman. 20. Sudden Clarity Clarence The original stock photo was submitted to the Australia Associated Press covering the Schoolies Festival on Queensland, Australia's Gold Coast in 2009. 19. Bad Luck Brian A yearbook photo of Kyle Craven, the original instance was submitted to Reddit in 2012 by Ian Davies, a longtime friend of Kyle, with the caption, Takes Driving Test, Gets First DUI. Surprisingly, the original post received fewer than five upvotes. 18. Condescending Wonka This meme features a screen capture of the great Gene Wilder from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. 17. Grandma Finds the Internet The original image comes from a stock photograph titled Elderly Woman Looking at Computer Screen, taken in 2005. In 2011, several Redditors posted image macros featuring the photo, referring to it as Internet Grandma. The rest is just part of internet pop culture now. 16. Ten Guy In 2011, Redditor Random Dave posted a photo of this young man to the R-Trees subreddit titled, Getting High is Not Always Pretty. 15. Philosoraptor Sam Smith created the original as a t-shirt to sell on Lonely Dinosaur and registered the copyright for it in 2008. 14. Overly Manly Man Every hardcore boxing fan knows that the overly masculine alpha male with a misogynistic attitude is nothing but a truly badass bare-knuckle boxer from the 1800s named Mike Conley. For those who don't know, Mike was known for his knockout power and roughness, but unfortunately, he lacked finesse and skill in the ring. 13. Overly Attached Girlfriend Lena Morris's fake fan video for Justin Bieber turned her face into a symbol of internet pop culture. The video was a submission to a contest held by Bieber who challenged his fans to create a girlfriend counterpart to his hit song Boyfriend. Unfortunately, she didn't win. 12. Not Sure If In Season 2, Episode 6 of Futurama, The Lesser of Two Evils, there's a scene where Fry is searching through Leela's underwear drawer. That's where this screenshot comes from. The image first hit the internet as a variation of the I see what you did there meme before becoming not sure if. In 2012, Futurama's opening sequence paid homage with not sure if new episode or just rerun of episode I watched drunk. 11. Joseph de Croo Joseph was an 18th century French artist known for his unorthodox portrait paintings. On the internet, his eccentric self-portrait usually features archaic reinterpretation of popular rap lyrics superimposed over the artwork. 10. Grumpy Cat Tartar Sauce is a cat in Internet Celebrity known for her grumpy facial expression. Her owner, Tabitha Bunsen, says that her permanently grumpy-looking face is due to an underbite and feline dwarfism. 9. Scumbag Steve this photo was taken by his mom and was the cover of the album My Gangsta by Beantown Mafia, of which Blake Boston, aka Scumbag Steve, also known as Wheezy B, was a member. 8. 
Good Guy Greg. This was created as the antithesis to Scumbag Steve, but nearly four years after the meme became viral, his identity still hasn't been revealed. Reddit users have come forward every now and again with images of people they claim to be the real Triple G, but the mystery hasn't been solved yet. 7. Why You Know Guy Chapter 55, Naked King, from the sci-fi manga Gantz, is said to be the original source for this character. The original instance was first found on LOL Tumblr wallpapers, where he was spouting, I text you! Why you no text back? It spawned over 10,000 reblogs and likes. 6. Irma Gerd Girl In 2012, a post titled, Just a Book Owner's Smile, was submitted to Reddit with a photo of a young girl posing with three Goosebumps books and her mouth agape in excitement. She took the internet by storm the next day on FunnyJunk.com and quickly gained notoriety all over the web. 5. Doge The use of this misspelled word to refer to the dog in these hilarious pictures dates back to 2005, when it was mentioned in an episode of Homestar Runner's Puppet Show. In the episode titled, Biz Cavs Fry 1, Homestar calls Strongbad his D-O-G-E while trying to distract him from his work. 4. Conspiracy Keanu This photo of Keanu Reeves comes from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. 3. Confession Bear The original photo was taken by photojournalist Clemens Bilon and submitted to Getty Images in 2007. Five years later, F18 Bro submitted a post titled, I have a lot of weird stuff that I'd like to be able to confess to Reddit so I can get it off my chest. So I made Confession Bear. 2. Skeptical Third World Child In 2012, a Redditor who had recently traveled to Uganda on a volunteer trip for the Student Global Health Alliance posted pictures from her trip. On June 22, 2012, another Redditor posted a photo of a Ugandan child titled Skeptical Third World Child to the RPIX subreddit. 1. Success Kid The original image was taken in 2007 by photographer Lainey Greiner, who also happens to be the mother of then 11-month-old Sammy. She posted it to her personal Flickr account and put it on Getty Images. In 2008, users of social sites began incorporating Sammy's photo in their profiles, either as their avatar or as part of the page's layout. It was often paired with the phrases, I'ma f*** you up, or I hate sandcastles. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.